Well, we talked about it being a night of heavyweight slugfest. Are there two more slugfest savvy heavyweights than Zane Dawson and Donnie Dollars? This one is not going to be pretty at all. Cecil Scott and Brad Stutz are in the booth. Both men, Cecil, really at the crossroads of their careers right now. They really are. They've really... Oh, I'm trying to listen to Zane. Take it out, Donnie! Take it out! Ooh. Yeah, both guys have come off of major issues. Zane Dawson with, uh, with Shane Helms. Donnie, of course, ended that year-long feud with Nick Richards in the most gruesome match in CWF history. That brutal dog collar match is available at ondemand.cwf247.com as part of the night of grudge matches. And both guys are really looking at this as kind of a get back on track kind of match. Well, Donnie is still riding the wave of that huge win in the dog collar match, but you know, it's kind of like the old stories that you hear about, oh my God, about war generals that have no more land to conquer, you know? Donnie Dollar's mission for the last year has been to vanquish Nick Richards, and now that he's done it, he's a little, he's almost directionless as Donnie, now that he has finally put Richards down de decisively. Right, it's like, now what am I fighting for? You know, we haven't seen Richards for a month until he showed up tonight to attack Chris Lee. Undeniably, we're going to see more on that situation down the road, but Donnie Dollars has been wrestling a full schedule. Cover here from Dollars on Dawson only gets two. You know, Donnie has continued to wrestle a full schedule in the aftermath of that brutal dog collar match. Richards uh, pretty much went into hiding for the past month. Donnie was even trying to get on that Ultra J show last week. Well, that would have been a, a spectacle, I'm sure. Oh! Right, you know, it's not unlike Donnie to not get the idea. Mm -hmm. He told me he's going to do a dive. On the Ultra J show or tonight? I would not dive on Zane Dawson at all. Oh, you will catch concrete. Mm -hmm. Oh! Slugs away. You can see the pain on the face of Dawson. I'm being a little tongue-in-cheek, by the way. He didn't actually say that. Nice headbutt. And we just see this straight slugfest all night tonight. Oh, one, two, and Dawson, I've always compared him to Bruiser Brody, and this is a match Brody would have loved. Undeniably so. Two big sluggers in there. Oh, my God. <laughs> big slam. And you notice there's a little bit of, we were talking about Donnie being a little directionless, but there's some pep in his step. Well, I think after you finally get that big victory, it's it's understandable to have that spring in your step. Donnie's oh, great move from Dawson avoids the pump handle. Uh oh, could be the lariat. Heads up! No, he does not get the lariat. He ain't a little high. Oh God! In the back of the head. Northern lariat right in the back of the neck, in the back of the cranium. Donnie Dollars is seeing stars on that one. You know, and it on, uh, uh, Larry, it's in the back of the head, not nearly as aesthetically pleasing to the crowd, but I will tell you, it hurts like you would never believe. You actually lose vision for a good five to ten seconds if you get caught in the right spot back there. Yeah, Donnie might be on Dream Street right now, just trying to create some space between him and Dawson. Dawson, who recently defeated Adam Page in a contender's matchup to earn a future championship match against Shane Helms for the PWI championship. Officials are working to sanction that match now. He's been obsessed with Shane Helms for the better part of a year now. And of course, we saw undeniably one of the most famous and most popular wrestlers on the planet make a shocking appearance at Battlecade and assist Shane Helms in retaining the title against Dawson. You can order Battlecade in its entirety at ondemand.cwf247.com to see what we're talking about. But Dawson has made friends absolutely nowhere. CWF Mid-Atlantic, ECPW out of Thomasville, Omega 
which is coming up in Smithfield, North Carolina later this month. Zane Dawson has made enemies absolutely everywhere he has gone. This big, vicious, brutal brawler. He wouldn't have it any other way. No, you're right. He really wouldn't. Cover. I saw a fan try to get in his face when he was coming to the ring, and that's the biggest mistake that fan could ever make. Trust no, me. Uh, undeniably so. Dawson will flatten anybody, fan, grandmother, infant. He doesn't care. Dawson will flatten anybody. And he's flattening Donnie Dollars right now. He's just straight mugging him in the ring. Well, if that dog collar match, as you called it, the most gruesome match in CWF history, if that match taught us anything, it is that Donnie can survive a brutal beating. It is that Donnie can mount a big comeback after being just mauled. And he will need to put those skills into practice tonight against Dawson because cover here from Dawson. Good ring positioning, nowhere near the ropes. Joey Hogan says it was only two because there may be no one uh, on the independent circuit today who mauls an opponent like Zane Dawson does. No, and it makes me glad that I've always uh, been kind of on the same side as him. He's a guy I've never really wanted to wrestle. But no. Donnie, we've seen him take punishment in many matches in the past. He's taken some brutal beatings. And like I said, he always finds a way to keep coming. I'll never forget that famous night where he and, and, and Corey Edsel won the tag team titles. And Donnie was isolated for so much of that match, and he showed so much heart. Donnie, again fighting through, firing away here on Dirty Zane Dawson, the number one contender to the PWI Championship. Dawson avoids it and drills Donnie in the buckle. And no finesse here, he just drove his whole body into Donnie Dollar's midsection. You know, Dawson doesn't look like a great athlete, but he has gotten himself in phenomenal shape in the past couple of years. Dawson used to weigh in at well over 300 pounds. I think now he goes about maybe 235, 240. Oh, absolutely. I remember first seeing him and his brother. They were both these big, big balling guys. Boy, Donnie is just absolutely sending Dawson pillar to the post here. Quite literally. And that was, I think. Wait, da da yeah, Dawson just took the pad off the buckle there. I don't think Joey Hogan saw it. Yeah, right off of that connector. I don't think Donnie Dollar saw it either. Big slam from Donnie. Donnie is in the driver's seat here. Big leg. Drops the leg on him. Gonna go for the cover here. Two, two, only two, only two. And we're seeing what happens when you take all that punishment in the middle parts of a match. You're seeing Donnie slow to make covers. Both men down. The next big offensive maneuver might win the bout here. Yeah, but you're one big shot away. We're going to get a power slam, maybe a snake on us. Looks like oh, it. The oh, drops him face first hard, but cannot make the cover to your point, Cecil. He's just taking so much of a pounding. And Dawson now trying to create space between him and Dollars. Donnie's setting up that boot, though. This will do it. No, Dawson's successful in creating space between the two of them. He knew it was coming. Donnie mounting Dawson in the buckle and just raining down blows here. Oh, oh God, Donnie Dollar's head hit that unprotected buckle. Good grief, right to the buckle. Dawson is on top. Donnie Dollar's KO'd and Dawson wins it, but the, the top buckle is exposed. Yeah, this is iron. And Donnie Dollars went face first right into it. Donnie's hurt. Donnie is hurt and Dawson has won it.